So now the next what we are going to discuss guys is, is basically the debugging techniques and that's with the help of the mRNA testing framework. So the people who are from the Java background, they must be familiar with uh, something J unit and uh, J unit uh, for testing. So similarly uh, for the MapReduce, we have MR unit. Uh, you know uh, why we have to uh, you know take care of this uh, debugging of the data set uh, and uh, you know debugging of program uh, as part of this you know understanding about the MapReduce because uh, this uh, distributed nature of the MapReduce programming. Uh, it's going to make uh, the debugging uh, more challenging because uh, your data is getting processed across multiple nodes and if there is any failure or something, you have to uh, basically understand all, uh, you have to basically gather all those logs and then you can do the processing. So um, that's what you have this uh, MR unit, uh, you know, the framework. So that is based on the J unit and uh, it allows you to do basically the unit testing of your mapper reducer and also you know your map reduce integration so all those uh, kind of unit testing you can do uh, with the help of this mrn testing framework and uh, you know uh, why why you have to do this stuff is because uh, you know uh, whenever uh, you are making any changes with the code and if you want to make sure that whatever the changes you made uh, it it's working uh, in a similar way like what you have been you know, doing earlier with the input data and all the output expected data. That's where uh, you know uh, you will uh, use this MI testing framework where you will specify uh, what is your input data set and what is the expected data you uh, you know uh, expect from the processing and then you will do the actual MapReduce processing and from their output it will compare what you have specified the expected output and if there is a matching it is going to uh, basically send you the, uh, um, it, it's basically graphically it's going to show you it is like the test has succeed or failed. So if you have your testing team and if you want to give your MapReduce code for testing so what you can do is you can after this class you can train them to use how to use this MRN testing framework and once they are comfortable with using MRN testing framework, uh, they can use this to uh, basically test your MapReduce code. So this whole uh, MRN testing framework guys, it was designed by the, uh, you know, designer Cloudera and they uh, later made it uh, as kind of the open source and that's what uh, we have available now as part of this, you know, the Hadoop uh, uh, implementation. So basically what mRNA testing framework provides you, uh, it, it provides you basically the test driver uh, that accept uh, basically uh, whenever from the program you specify your input and the output data set, it will accept that input data set, it will validate the correct uh, behavior of the mapper and the reducer and based on that uh, it, it's basically going to uh, you know give you this uh, uh, the current output like how the mapper uh, or reducer whenever you run whether it succeed or it fail. Okay, so uh, what you have as part of you know the code is like you you will have all these different drivers so map reduce driver map driver and the reduce driver, and also you will have different methods by which you will provide the input data sets so like you will have with input method so by using that you will provide a uh, kind of a sample line as an input and that input will be taken by the mapper and then you will have the output method so by using that you will provide what is the expected output you have and then you will do the run test and by using that it will basically run this uh, input data set we have. Uh, it will get that output data set which you have specified and then the output data set from the program and then it will compare and it will show you the output. So show you the results whether the test succeed or it fail. Right. So that's what uh, you have uh, with the MR unit uh, testing framework uh, in terms of uh, you know uh, uh, in, ter in terms of testing your code. Uh, what is uh, there is like you need us uh, you know a few jar files that to be available on your virtual machine to do the testing so let me show you the document which is available for MRN testing framework uh, setup so um, let me go back and get the document which you have for so this document again guys what I am sharing you sharing with you here it's available as part of your LMS access so you can get that to uh, basically set this MRN testing framework. Okay. 
So uh, this is the data set. Uh, sorry, this is the uh, the file which is available, guys, as part of uh, this uh, MRN testing framework. So what you need to uh, do is uh, you need to download this Apache Apache MRN uh, testing framework. So that that you can download that. Along with that, what 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 you need is you need uh, certain other jar files as well. So these are the jar files that's available. And you need to basically have uh, the jar file to be integrated whenever you are running this MRN testing framework. So you can import all these jars and in in your uh, Java project, whichever you are running. And then once you have that one, now uh, you can uh, write your mapper. So let me uh, go back and show you the mappers how you write that. So basically, you use uh, these uh, you know uh, map and uh, this uh, driver. So mapper driver to basically specify if you are testing the reducer code, you can you will use the reduce driver. So in our case, we are uh, testing the mapper driver. So here, what you do is uh, you specify. Um, what is your input data set and that's what you do with the input so you specify what is the input line you have so the, our input line is this and what is the expected output you have so this is the expected output we have and then you do the run test and when you do the run test what it does is it takes this input data set which you have specified go back to the logic what you have written in the mapper it will run the program get the output and then it will compare your output with whatever the expected output you have specified and if both are matched it, it, it is going to report as a success. If it fails, it will report it as a failure. Okay. So that's what uh, it, it's going to work uh, in terms of the MRN testing framework. Okay. So let me show you how to run this stuff, guys. Okay, so you come here, guys, and uh, okay. So close this. Go to the one MapReduce demo source, and let me get the data set here. Sorry, uh, the Java file here. Um, okay. I hope the document will open. Is it open? Okay. Sorry, guys. It's already open here. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, for this, let me create a test, uh, you know, a class here, and that's where I will add that new class and give the name as test, and that's a finish. Okay, now what I will do is I will take this particular code guys from here, starting from here, and then till here. Okay. So it's not able to basically um, you know, add this. So what we have to do is we have to add this jar file. So do build path, configure build path, libraries, add external jars, and then uh, go to basically desktop, Chetan, advanced map reduce, and then go MR in it, and I will add all the jar files here. Do it, okay. So everything is gone except this test example. So I will rename this file guys here. Okay, so I think everything is done now. Now, what we want to do here is um, we want to process this input data set, guys. So let me see the logic what we have here. So the logic here is uh, whatever the input data set we are going to do, we are going to split it based on the comma, and then uh, we are going to uh, basically get this value in uh, line zero. So that will be the first value. And then we are going to set uh, day at the line one, and then we are going to write it um, the day, and then the value as one. Okay. 
that's interesting okay so what it's going to do guys is here is uh, whatever you are going to uh, pass it here it's basically going to uh, compare it here and then the, it should be output as one okay so let's run this particular stuff so how you run this particular testing guys uh, you come to to the file which you have here so uh, we created uh, which file guys here I think test example dot Java right click run as and this program should fail here guys GNN testing framework so you can see here this program has failed now if we change here instead of this Sunday let's make it caps save the program now try to run this okay and still it is failing so what is occurring here okay let me run one more time awesome so it succeeds right so whatever it does here guys is um, it, it takes this input line whatever you have right so uh, this this is the first so uh, comma separated line so you can see here uh, it passes this value as the integer value as 0 so it expect 1 there and then the next it is going to set as uh, you know day and that's what we are going to compare day uh, with interitable value that's basically 1 okay so if you change it here uh, anything what happened here Sunday let's try to run this again because we have some issue let's uh, change this value as 2 you will see this test will fail should fail right so that's why whatever the input data set you are providing and based on the logic what you have coded here right how to uh, basically output the value from the mapper and then what is your expected output that we are specified with the output it is going to run the test and it's going to graphically show you how the data is basically uh, the success or the failure So this will be mainly used by guys uh, either like your development phase whenever you are writing advanced map reduce code and if you want to do the testing you can use this uh, for that or uh, if you want to uh, basically uh, you know uh, give it for your testing team and then let them do that so in that case uh, also you can give this okay so it's here guys am I in testing framework are you guys good with this one